yo, it's your boy Poe Plains, aka Lovely. And I'd like to thank y'all for rocking with me on All Love Big Love Podcast, you feel me? And right now I'm ready to give y'all the story about like earlier when I told y'all that, you know what I'm saying, the like the closest thing I got to like any hardcore drug type shit. Which was like like hard hardcore, I remember back then. When I used to hang out with my my nigga uh, Trizzle, well it, it, it ain't he's my cousin for real, but like before I found out we was cousins, me and him was like best friends. You feel me? So I still kind of call him my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's my nigga and my cousin. You know what I'm saying? But man, this nigga Trizzle, you know what I'm saying? We had a uh, we we used to fuck with his brother Mike. You feel me? And Mike used to hang out with with a lot of white people. You feel me? But this nigga. Made money off, you know what I'm saying? He he was he was making all the money off all, the, you know what I'm saying? Hanging out with them and shit, cause they wasn't like all the, the black motherfuckers that that was that we was serving, or we was hanging around. You know what I'm saying? They was way chill, laid laid back, play the game with you and smoke the weed that back from you. You feel me? So he wanted to hang around that type vibe. You feel me? But anyways, me and this nigga used to go over. And fuck with them a lot. Like, that was my first time, like, fucking with, like, a uh, white widow, black widow. Nah, what was it? White widow, a white Russian, uh, that northern white shit. You know what I'm saying? Those type of weeds, them niggas had that shit. You feel me? And that was my first time. I like smoking anything outside of, like, sour diesel, perp, like, all that shit back in the day. You feel me? But the only hardcore I close I got to that was, like, shrooms and shit. You feel me? They was they had some shrooms and shit, and in the house we was at, like they they had a whole lot of different games and different rooms and shit. So we all in the living room. They had a couple friends and shit over. There. They started doing shrooms and shit. My dumb ass want to do the shrooms and shit. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying my nigga Trudel was like, man, fuck that shit, fuck that shit. Don't give that nigga. I'm like, man, fuck it, gonna give me one cuz. So I get to acting like goofy. You feel me? Like I felt it, but I didn't feel it. Until like when we was playing Super Mario, I seen I start seeing the characters come out of the fucking TV. I'm like, what the fuck? You feel me? I looks over at one of these girls, like uh, one of the dudes' uh, girlfriend that was there. I looks over at her. She's over like this. You feel me? You feel me? Stuck like she's off off the pack or something. But she, I guess she was looking like what the fuck. She was probably shocked at what she was seeing and shit. You feel me? But anyways, I, I did uh, that shit before and. Let me see. I did Molly one time when we went to the club. We went to the club, uh, what was that? Phoenix Hill one time. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody really in that motherfucker. My nigga was like, here, I'm going to go like uh, do a video in that motherfucker. My nigga Dot Block Shorty. Like, nigga from my hand, my nigga, but he's nigga from my hood. You feel me? Dot Block Shorty. You know what I'm saying? That's the first nigga I seen. I ain't going to lie. When he was coming up. He was one of the main niggas in our hood. You feel me? That was doing his thing and shit after Ra Ra and them got locked up. You feel me? But uh Well, I said Ra Ra. Y'all don't know him as Ra Ra, but Dur Durl, you feel me? The one I did a, a a video on, you feel me? After he got locked up, that nigga Dot Block Shorty took over that shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I did a, a Molly with him one time. He had a nigga pop uh it was like, man, shit, we yeah, ain't ain't that's the dude. I know y'all ain't gonna have me. You the only one being on the mic. You know what I'm saying? One of them peer pressure type moments. Dumb ass nigga done pop one. Nigga, that shit was garbage. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna say garbage, but like, I had a lot of energy, but I, we ain't had shit to do for real that night. You know what I'm saying? Because the club was supposed to be packed, but it wasn't. You feel me? But other than that, I used to hustle on Hill Street and shit. And it was me, everybody from Louisville, Kentucky. I don't know if y'all know, but we used to call it Hill Street. You feel me? It's one little strip. Car. We used to call it the strip. You feel me? And it was me. It's, it's one nigga named uh, Shy. And this other nigga, I forgot his name. But us three, like, we was, us three was, like, coming up. You feel me? And we was supposed to work together and shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Go in on a bag and come up over that motherfucker. Try to take over the whole Hill Street. Us three. But soon Shy started seeing me and bruh get money and shit, like, we was getting it more than him, this nigga started getting a little jealous, you feel me, so me and him distance ourselves from him, and, like, slowly for surely, I distance myself from dude, because, like, he thought a nigga was trying to holler at his shorty and shit, 
when I had my chick with me, you know what I'm saying, almost every time, you know, I, you know what I'm saying, your girl won't follow you around her wearing shit. Around that time, you feel me, I had my little shorty with me, you feel me, and shit, so, my girl and shit, so, man, we was over, uh, hustling and shit one time when we was in Shy's house before we, we all split up and shit. This nigga was showing me how to, like, like, I, I knew how to whip the dope, but he was showing me different ways on how to whip the dope and different shit to cut it with, you feel me, to make them motherfuckers come back and like that shit more. And I'm standing over the motherfucking pot, like, standing over, like, it's the pot. I'm standing over this motherfucker, nose all in this motherfucker looking, like, trying to see what it's doing and shit. And when he came in there, and nigga see me, he said, boy, back your ass up, nigga, what are you doing, you feel me? This nigga high. So I wasn't paying no attention. So I had to, well... Nigga, I started feeling woozy and shit. You feel me? So I'm like, hey, man, uh, can you cook the rest of this? I was like, I got to go sit down. I'm, I'm hot. He was like, nah, nigga, you high. Nigga, fuck all that hot shit. Nigga, you fucking high. Nigga, I told your ass to uh, move your nose. You supposed to have your nose and shit covered up when you do that shit. My stupid ass then. See, got, you know what I'm saying, high off that shit. Man, I was half about like 45 minutes, y'all. Like, a nigga passed out for about like 45 minutes to an hour. You feel me? Woke back up and shit. Not woke back up, but I couldn't get up and shit. This nigga had a red suede couch. That motherfucker was drenched in and soaking sweat and shit. I was sweating bricks and shit so much. You feel me? I guess my body overheated and shit. You feel me? Because I kind of got high blood pressure. You know what I'm saying? So my body overheated and shit off that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that shit fucked me. But that's the closest. I ain't never did like try it like her. Let me see what this tastes like. I ain't never did no, you know what I'm saying, hardcore drugs or nothing like that, but. Yeah, man, back when I was hustling on Hill Street and shit, man, that shit was crazy. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Niggas uh, hating and shit, so we had to uh, move away, you feel me? Eventually, I ended up fucking with my nigga Wu, you feel me? Shout out my nigga Wu, you feel me? He was we, he was doing good. We, we was doing good over that motherfucker for about a good year, you feel me? And then that shit just went downhill type shit, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, nigga Wu, he, had, he, he held shit down, you feel me? Like... Before other niggas came over and seen what we was doing and shit. That's crazy because when we used to slide back through that bitch and then just peep and see what, what was going on outside around the area and shit. You feel me? Like, we used to see motherfuckers doing the same shit we was doing. You feel me? Like, that shit, you know what I'm saying? It was just funny to us. You know what I'm saying? Just riding back, back past and seeing shit that motherfuckers, the shit we was doing, other motherfuckers were doing the same exact shit. You know what I'm saying? Unless you know, like, everything goes in a motherfucking fucking circle, you feel me? This, is, you know, this ain't nothing but a vertical, a vertical ass game, man, you know what I'm saying? Everything has its ups and downs, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that was my story about how I got close to any whore. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Never did nothing, but that's the only hardcore drugs I did and the closest, I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never did nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? My big bro died over a heroin overdose and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because the motherfucker, he was pimping and shit. And that's the first, my bro was first, the first nigga in the hood doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I might do a story on that. First nigga I ever seen pimping and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was a little, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 one of them uh, pimps that wasn't like all the other pimps that you'll see in movies and shit, but he was doing this thing for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? And somebody got him hooked on that shit. And he used to listen to BG and so to Slim them a lot. You know what I'm saying? So when he heard them niggas saying that they used to fuck with it, he didn't, he was looking at it like it wasn't no problem. You know what I'm saying? Like he would just always walk around the house listening to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make it seem like the shit he was doing, with, you know what I'm saying, was cool just because they did it. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? We all, everybody be hard at it sometimes and they got to learn. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. That's my story, man. It's your boy, Pope Plains, a.k.a. Lovely. Y'all get in them comments, comment. Make sure I hit that like and subscribe button. You feel me? All my follows from my other page. I'm still waiting on them to come to this page. You feel me? But I, I believe we're going to take off. You feel me? This is our year. You feel me? This is our year. You know what I'm saying? And then when when, when I can do when I can, send out little gifts and shit. I'm, I'm going to send out little gifts and shit to... All my followers who've been fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I am going to do a little giveaway. 
what I'm saying? But we, we got running shit up. We got to get this shit to a thousand views. And we got to get this shit to a thousand followers, subscribers, man. We need a thousand subscribers, man. Help me, G. Help Lovely. Help your boy Lovely out, man. Help your boy Lovely out, man. You feel me? It's all love, big love, baby. 100, I'm out.